everybody welcome back and today I'm going to clean out my Keurig machine and so what I've done is I have filled it with bleach water I yeah I know a lot of people use vinegar but I love bleach bleach kills in my opinion everything if it doesn't in my mind it kills everything a long time ago I was talking to a paramedic and he said to me Something to the effect of it takes bleach like seven minutes to kill every germ that it can possibly kill. And I have no clue whether that's true or not. I have no idea. I've never like researched it. It's just something that's kind of stuck with me. And I said, oh, okay, whatever, you know, I don't know. So what I did is I stuck a splash of bleach in here and I let the water sit for like 10 minutes, you know, so I know that it's killed every germ inside of this tank. And then I have been running the water, the bleach water, through my Keurig machine ever since then. And because it takes so long for the water to cycle through, it's probably taken me about seven minutes to get all of the water to cycle through here, which to me means that all of that bleach water has sat in those lines, has sat in those lines for at least seven minutes. And I know that you have seen the same pictures that I have of people who have tore apart their Keurig machines and all those little tubes with all that black nastiness in there. I have no clue what vinegar does to any of that kind of nastiness. But I do know that whenever I have mold inside of a Tupperware container or, you know, inside of anything else and I have soaked it in bleach, all of that mold has gone away. So... That's why I use bleach inside my Keurig machine. Now, crazy me, I have forgotten to buy a filter for my Keurig machine, so I left my filter in it. And I just let the bleach run through it. I said there's no reason in taking a filter out to put a dirty filter back in here. That's just gonna cause problems. So this afternoon, I'm hoping to go out and buy a filter, but until then, I left the filter in my Keurig machine. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna obviously go dump this out, but I'm gonna run two more clean waters through here. So I'm gonna fill this up with clean water and I'm gonna run two more times with clean water through there. But it seems how it's empty. If I were to do it again, it would say, you have low water. I'm gonna take this over to the sink. So let's turn, you can turn with me. Ta-da, let me turn you over here because that's really bright. Let's go this way. There we go, now you can see me. Uh -huh. So now I'm gonna pull it apart and I'm just going to clean out all the little pieces. I'm gonna run my rag through there and I'm just going to, like I'm gonna take the filter out. I'm gonna take it all the way out of the little contraption. There's two little buttons on the side that you can see. You push those, you pull the top up and that comes out. If you've ever taken this apart and it's been gross, you know that there's normally um, nasty stuff inside that filter but because mine has set with bleach water it's nice and clean all I really need to do is run some clean water through it same thing with the filter if you've ever you know seen a nasty filter um, this one's been sitting with bleach water in it so it actually looks like a pretty good filter now I am going to replace this filter whenever I get to the store but until then if I wanted a cup of coffee this afternoon or if I forget or what have you that filter is just as clean as the rest of the Keurig. And then as you can see, all of my little numbers are clean. The inside of here is clean, all of that. And let me dump out this water. Hey bananas, is that you? And then inside here, it is so hard to see, but this other little filter in here is nice and clean. And so that bleach water has just kind of set in there and has made it to where all of that stuff has kind of cleaned itself out and all of the germs that were in there should have been killed out by now. So I'm just gonna basically rinse this thing out, make sure that all of my bleach water is out of there. Um, I do it pretty regularly, so I don't normally have a buildup of anything going on in here, but you still wanna rinse it all out. Just because I'm gonna be running some clean water through here, you still wanna take it apart, rinse it out, make sure that it got everything. If you see that anything really kinda of needs to be scrubbed by hand, you really ought to scrub it. You really ought to rinse out these little mesh things. You really ought to rinse those out, make sure that they're, they're all the way cleaned out before you put this thing back in there. And then you just put it back together. I'm going to fill it up with water now. There we 
go. And then we're going to run, I'm going to run two containers of water through here. Um, I'm running two containers of water through here because I want to be safe and sorry. I mean, I know that one container would probably rinse all the bleach water out of there, but I would rather know for sure. And it doesn't take that long. I mean, I can do this while I'm doing other things. I don't normally drink coffee in the afternoon. So I can run this water through the Keurig machine all afternoon if I want to. Just keep keep going through there and every time I, I see it or think about it or walk through the kitchen, open it up, do another cup of coffee. And then before morning, I will have run two of these containers through my Keurig machine and I know that it's clean. I'm not saying that you can't use vinegar. I have no idea how vinegar works, but I do know how bleach works. And I do know that I have seen bleach work on the little plastic tubing and other stuff. So I'm assuming that it works well in here. And I have been doing this for years. I've had this Keurig machine for five, six, seven, seven years. I've had it for seven years. And for seven years, I have been cleaning it the exact same way. And I've not had a single problem with my Keurig machine. It's not made me sick. And that's a long time to have a Keurig machine, especially with the sitting water and stuff like that. So anyway, that's how I clean my Keurig. And so I'm gonna run some fresh water through here and we'll see you again later.